Good morning. Welcome to week three of ABO class. We've got uh, several pieces to discuss, uh, but we're going to start with radius of curvature. The rule of thumb says that a one diopter lens has the radius of curvature of 530 millimeters. Radius of curvature is just a way of describing uh, the measurement of the curve of a lens from the optical center to the edge. So if this was a one diopter lens, we would say that the radius of curvature was 530 millimeters. The formula to determine uh, radius of curvature is the standard of 530, so 530 divided by power equals the radius. If we were to, let's say, use a five diopter lens as our example, so 530 divided by five equals, let's grab our calculator, so 530 divided by five equals 106. So we would say that the radius of curvature of a five diopter lens is 106 millimeters. In turn, if they asked us to determine the power of a lens, um, given the radius of curvature, uh, we can apply that same formula and we can say 530 divided by the radius of 106 and if we plug that into our calculator, so 530 divided by 106 equals five. So we've been able to work this equation in both directions. So the radius of curvature of a one diopter lens is 530 millimeters. 530 then becomes our rule for the equation to determine either the power of a lens or the radius of curvature. Now, in addition to the equation, uh, one of the other important pieces uh, regarding radius of curvature is that um, as the radius increases or decreases, it actually changes uh, the power of the lens. So, if the radius of curvature is longer, let's say in a lens that has a larger diameter, so we're starting with, let's say, a larger blank size, and the measurement from the center to the outside edge is longer, it will actually um, decrease the power of the lens. So if this was still 530, but the length of measurement was longer because we were using a larger blank, it would actually decrease the power of the lens. It would also mean that we were looking at a flatter curve. Um, if we were using a smaller lens blank to start with and again measured that radius of curvature at 530 but that uh, distance had decreased it would actually create more power so an increase in power as the size um, of the blank decreases so a decrease in power for our larger lens and an increase in power for our smaller lens. Uh, let's take a look at like a profile view. I think this might help a little bit. So if we started with just a regular lens blank, 
here we're looking at just kind of a plus powered lens. This measurement here at the side, uh, we would say that's that radius of curvature. So from the middle of the lens to this outside edge, that's that radius of curvature of 530. Now, if we were dealing with uh, a larger lens blank this time, like this, and the radius stayed the same, now this particular lens um, is flatter overall uh, because of that increase in size, and a flatter curve means less power or a decrease in power. If we had that same situation, uh, but this time we were dealing with a smaller lens blank, something more like that size, that smaller lens blank now has a steeper curve We can see that shape is much curvier, and then that steeper curve increases the power of this lens. So more power. So this is our radius of curvature discussion. Um, and again, a increase in diameter uh, decreases the power of the lens. Uh, a decrease in diameter will um, increase the power of the lens. And our rule of thumb says a one diopter lens has a radius of curvature of 530 millimeters.